Bow hunting whitetail deer. That's right, deer hunting with a bow. In this series, I'm going to tell you all of the stories of how I got all of these bucks. I'm going to call it antler stories. So I hope you'll stay tuned and watch this entire series to find out the story of how I got all these bucks. All right, thank you for joining me in this antler story series. In this video, I am going to share with you this nice seven pointer I got. This was the third buck I ever harvested in my life. Now, if you've read my book, Becoming World Class Hunter, A Bow Hunter Spiritual Journey, or if you've followed my videos for a long time, you've probably come across the fact that after college, I joined a religious order because I'm a Catholic and everyone thought I should be a priest. So I'm like, well, I'd, maybe, I don't know, maybe I missed something. So I joined a religious order to try to figure that out. And while I was there, I actually felt like God was saying to me, I'm calling you to make hunting videos. And I was like, well, how's that supposed to work? I'm in a religious order. So I asked for permission from the superiors to make a hunting video with my dad. And they actually gave me permission to try. So I met with my dad opening day of the Pennsylvania hunting season. And we didn't see, we didn't get any opportunities at a deer. And I'm like, well, that, what's the point there? Lord, I thought you wanted us to make a hunting video. So I got permission to try one more time. That was it because I was living in New York City. Went the next weekend and um, prayed a lot about where to set up. And I came up with an idea. I was hunting a friend's farm back home. And I thought of this area to set up on. Well, with about 15 minutes left before shooting hours closed, this seven pointer came walking right up by us and um, stopped right behind a tree. Now, back then, we were using a video camera that was not very good quality. So in the low light situations, the, the focus would really struggle. So my dad was actually filming, but we never ended up saving the footage because it didn't come out well. It, was, it wasn't real in focus. And the deer eventually stepped back and I got the shot. And I actually, it was a quartering away shot, about 12 yards, and we were so steep, I caught the spine on the way in, dropped the deer on its back, and I quick climbed down and put a second shot in it. I was very excited though to share that with my dad. Uh, that's the only time actually that I've ever sat with my dad um, and harvested a deer. There was one or two other times later on when I started filming hunts where I sat with him to film him. But this was a special deer because we were together. And I was a little bummed that the video footage didn't work out and I thought, well, I don't understand. You know, I, I thought we were, I was supposed to make hunting videos for God. And um, here I am, years later, um, approaching 100,000 subscribers on a YouTube channel that I never expected would do anything. So um, God had a plan, and my mission is to share hunting, share information, but also share God. And I just encourage you when you're out there to keep an open heart, keep an open mind. God is with you no matter who you are, no matter what you've done in your life. Whatever you think, God loves you, and He is with you always even in those hunts and sometimes he doesn't give us a deer because he's he wants us to soul search go deeper and it's in the frustration that we dig deeper and we do searching and we ask questions so if you're out there hunting and things aren't working out and you're praying like lord can i get a deer look deeper within what is it you want me to see god what are you trying to show me what is it about myself you want me to learn and that is when we grow. And that's when there's value in the hunt, even if we don't harvest something. So that's what I want to share with you in this episode, the seven pointer on my friend's farm with my dad. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you. And my dad, he insisted on this, getting this seven pointer mounted and the, the five pointer that the first deer I ever got, he insisted. I never really thought about getting deer mounted and it kind of set a trend. So I've gotten some of the others mounted since then, but I just wanted to share all that with you. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you will watch this whole series. A lot more of the, the videos coming up. I have all the video footage of the actual hunt, so you'll get to see more harvests. But some of these ones, are it's just the story. So there you have it. That's the seven-pointer. Until next time, take care and God bless.